Okay. Hello YouTube! This is your friend Pandisal Trip and today we're gonna look at the Club Sport Pedals version 3 by Panatic. So let's go! Okay, so here's the measurements if you want to keep the box for future use. Now let's open. Wow! Okay, the deeper ends, huh? Let's take it out of the box. Okay, now let's open the other box between ordinary and extraordinary. Is that little extra? Here's the uh, quick guide. There's a front and back portion, and some uh, more stickers. Very nice. Stick out these foam inserts. Stick out this uh, little box here. Take a look at that later. Let's look at the grand prize. Wow, feels very nice. First impressions. Wow, I can feel the hardness there. Okay, so let's see in the little box, get some more uh, pedal faces here. And it looks like you can make um, the pedals more angled. Open here. Okay, this looks like a uh, more tension spring. Braided USB cord. Some bolts. Lithium grease. To lube it up. And the foam jack. Okay, let's peel it. Wow, I can feel the engagement there. Very nice. Break very hard. And the throttle, okay. So let's take a look again. Top view. Let's try with three fingers. Wow, very strong. Then let's try the clutch. I can feel the engagement. This has some rumbles on the throttle and brake. Very nice feature there, I like it. Here is what it looked like in the bottom. You could see all the connections there. Then the USB, then the pawn jack to the wheel base. And also we have the Panatic handbrake. I also like this one here. The rubber uh, padding, so it doesn't move a lot. So in the brake, you can make some adjustments here. So one is the lightest pressure. Then 8 is the strongest. So here's a side view. And the optional uh, angle bracket for your pedal. So you can see here, it not different kinds of uh, angle. So it's your personal preference. So this black spring here is the stronger, steeper spring. <laughs> it comes with the uh, <laughs> throttle and the clutch. So very easy, just follow the instructions. You take out these two bolts here on the, uh, the throttle. Then you take out this part here. Then you push up. Be careful, it might bounce on you. Okay, careful, huh? Careful. Okay, so just pull this block out. Then you just uh, remove the uh, red spring. Just uh, pull it out. Let's take a look at this block here. Okay, so mine came out like that. No problem. So let's take out this uh, red spring. Now you just pull it out easily. Just slides slides up. Don't forget those uh, bushings here. There's also on the top and the bottom. Careful, careful. Okay. Easy. So here you can see the comparison the black and red. So all you have to do for the spring is just uh, do reverse order. Don't forget to add the bushings. Then put in the block. Pachak! You heard that? Makes that noise. Be very careful putting it on. So the clutch here is very difficult because of these two uh, bolts here. I twist it forever and keeps on going. So you have to use uh, two tools here. As you can see. Go twist in the opposite direction. Then it should come out. Then watch out for the Loctite. Makes it tougher, huh? So once you take it out, just push down, but be careful. Sounds like a mouse trap. <laughs> so just take out the red springs. Don't forget the uh, bushings. Okay. 
So, here's a comparison with the black and red. Now, all you have to do is put the spring back in and do the reverse order. Don't forget the uh, bushings, huh? So, now all you have to do is e push the uh, two red bars upwards and make a big noise. Pakak! Like a mouse trap. So, I wanted uh, to have a better healing toe. So, I'm gonna add this angle bracket to the brake. So, in order to do that, I have to use a ratchet here because it's uh, very difficult to uh, take out. Then, uh, carefully take up the motor. Just be very careful because uh, the, the wires are very thin and not too long. Then, just take up the bolts there, you see. Then, that's that. Okay, so here is look how, what it looks like. Now, I would add the bracket here. So, I already mounted the angle bracket. You just put on the pedal paste. I want to keep the original one. Then, to I'll use this uh, nut here for the nutting of that one. So, in order to uh, put the motor back in, I will use the included uh, bolts here. So I use this this hole here, these holes because it's uh, the spacing is shorter. And here is how it looks, much easier for heel and toe. Now, in order for me to put in, uh, the motor back on, I first screw the bottom one on both sides, then the motor, then the top one. Then it's all fine and dandy. Just make sure the motor is uh, centered, huh? So adding the black springs to the clutch and throttle pedals, it feels a little bit better, but not not too strong, you know. So I wanted more in the throttle and perhaps the brake. So I bought two additional accessories. So here I bought the uh, Club Sport brake performance kit and the uh, dampener kit. So let's open up the brake performance kit. So the brake performance kit adds more pressure to your uh, braking. But I did not add it to my pedals because I like the feeling already. And plus for sim drifting, we don't really brake that much. More on the throttle. So here we have the red and green. Uh, the, gre the green one is more stronger than the red one. But you could also mix and match. But I'll put a link in the description to you check it out. So here we have the dampener kit. Now I only bought one because I want to put it in the uh, throttle. I don't see a point and put it in the brake because it's you know it's already uh, steep. So here we have a quick guide on how to install. Now I put it in the throttle because you know for sim drifting you're always a uh, throttle controlling. Now let's take a look at the uh, dampener right here. It looks very nice. Oh here's some uh, mounting for the engine or the rumble. Some nuts. So here's a closer look. This bracket will be uh, replaced with this bracket for the rumble. Also, the bracket will be inverted. So, in order to take this one up, you have to like uh, pry it, maybe with a flat head, because it's kind of stuck in there, huh? But after you take it up, it's easy now. So, in order to put the new bracket, you just uh, push it in. It takes some effort, and here it is, finally installed. So I use two hands to push the angle bracket in. Don't forget the circle will match with the circle. So here's a reference. So the dampener will go in the third hole of your throttle. And here I already have it uh, mounted the uh, bracket. So all you have to do is don't forget to uh, unscrew this mount so you can uh, twist it like this. So when it's aligned, don't forget to add this, uh, this part here to there. Then it will go in there like that. And don't forget to uh, screw it in. And don't forget the other side, huh? 
So once you have the screws on both sides, now you have to twist it. Then when you're twisting, make sure you can see the throttle going down like that. So you peel some tension. Then once it, you peel the tension, you uh, turn it the opposite way, 180 degrees. Like that. So here I'm doing a replay, you could see I'm doing the tension, you could see it. Look at that. Here I'm pointing where you could see the tension. See? Tension on, tension off, tension on, tension off. So once you peel the tension, all you have to do now is turn the opposite side 180 degrees. And once you're done, don't forget to uh, tighten your screws, huh? And adjust to your preferred tension. So I noticed that the rumble motor was banging on the dampener kit, as you can see here. So basically I just uh, adjust the dampener and now it works all fine. And wow, I can really feel the difference. So for the mountain, it has the pole horse here in the corner. So I'm not sure if it comes with the mountain uh, nuts and bolts, so basically I just use these. So before you mount it, I highly recommend that you uh, lube it up with the lithium grease. And here are the spots you should uh, lube it up. Because I have to unmount it and lube it up after a week of using. Since it started to uh, squeak. So here I have it mounted on my next level racing FGT in GT mode. And it feels really nice. So I'm gonna post another video because I did some mods to make it more comfortable for the pedals. So don't forget to uh, download the drivers and Panalab so you can update your pedals. Quick note, uh, use USB instead of the uh, pawn jack because if you use the pawn jack, it will not recognize it on the driver as you see in the screen here. So please use USB. So here in the properties, uh, you can set the minimum and maximum force of the pedals. Just make sure you hit enable manual mode. And also you could test the rumbles. So let's try the rumble on the throttle. Wow, I like the feeling. On the brake? Oh, okay. Feels very nice. So let's try it with shoes now. Let's see if I peel, uh, peel it. Okay, have my shoes on. Okay, I still can peel it. So one thing I noticed is that on the throttle, it's not as strong as the brake. Maybe because I have to invert it for my dampener kit. So the Club Sport pedals B3 and the inverted are Panatics flagship pedals. It has 12-bit resolution on all axes that are contactless hole sensors for longevity and reliability, uh, full metal construction, and the brake has 90 kilogram load cell sensor. So I'm coming from a Logitech pedals and the Thrustmaster T3PA pedals, and by comparison. The Panatic B3 pedals just blows them away. The clutch, I love the feeling when it has that engagement. The brake has the, you know, the stronger pressure. And the throttle feels very nice with the Dabner kit. With a price of $359.95, I believe the B3 pedals are at a good price range for most. But if you want to go a uh, little bit lower, they have the CSL Elite pedals for $229. But for me personally, I don't regret my purchase at all. I believe it's worth the extra amount. So for now, bye bye. Bye bye. Initial P. <laughs> Extremely annoying shift later. Oh my goodness, this one takes forever. I finally figured it out how to unscrew this one. So annoying. I thought I broke it and uh, threaded it. So before you mount it onto your rig, I highly recommend that you uh, lube it up. Lube it up with some KY jet lithium grease. 